got a visitor. If it isn't a pope with a pardon and a paint, I'm not interested. You'll need help from the angels on this one. Sure, and I've seen worse and lived to tell the tale. I'm here to lead you into the light, my son. And you're feeling especially well qualified for that particular role, are you, Father? Let us begin with the Gospel of St. Matthew. Chapters 8, verse 6. For your father knoweth what things ye are in need of before ye ask him. Not this time. Hear ye, children, the instructions of your father. How the hell did you end up in here? How the hell did you feed me? I just happened to be wrapping up some purloined goods in the Dublin Times the other day, and there's a picture of your ugly mug, and under it it says, Ronan O'Reilly hired assassin. And lo, have come, for it is written to set you free. In vain, they've got us. You're up to your ass and you're sinking fast. How did this happen? Get this ridiculous old sod out of here. I don't need saving. And verily, verily, I say unto you, son, I ain't to go nowhere. Determined to save me. Prove to me that God is real. But he's not just something conjured up to justify all the stupid things people do, from war to pollution to disco dancing. Disco dancing, now you are blaspheming. A fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. You call me a fool, Father. Isn't there something in here about not looking a wee gift horse in the mouth? If there's a God, why is there evil in this world? Tell me that. You know, starving children, fires and destruction. Ambushes in a dark alley when all any decent man can do is defend himself. Ah. Here we are in Jeremiah. And I will gather the remnants of my flock together from all the countries. And I will bring them again into the fold, whether they want me to or not. What about personal responsibility then? You know, get into a scrape and then getting out of it on your own. A wise man follow the instructions of his father. And my parents taught me well. To rely on no one, even if they're wearing a collar. The journey's too far for you. And, uh, you must repent. Now, if you're gonna quote something, I'd rather hear from all scores, honestly. Oh, you're a hard case, Ronan O'Reilly. Guard, I'm afraid he's a harder case than I thought. But I still think that we can save his poor and tortured soul if the two of us could do a little bit of praying in a real church. Now, there's a sweet, small wee chapel around the corner. I'd like to take him there. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going anywhere with him. Get him out of here, or I'll send her to the angels myself. I've got nothing to lose. Guard, if you could give us a few moments for some holy prayer. Why, you didn't know there was any other kind. What are you waiting for? Get this hypocrite out of here. I just need a few moments with our young Ronan, for I can see the real man in his eyes there. Even though he's trying so hard to hide it, all we need is some prayer. Five minutes. Thank you, Guard. Wee little church around the corner, that's brilliant. He was going for it. He's already so special. Yeah, well, you let me worry about that. As soon as we get outside, you run like hell. I'll meet you at the pub three blocks north, two east. I've got all the ID set up. Okay, thank you. I appreciate what you're trying to do. You shouldn't be here, though. <sighs> I ain't going nowhere until I take you with me. Blessed Father, please help this wretched creature. Uh, deliver him from his ignorance, from his, his, his arrogance and his, 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 his hyperbole. Interpol says it's been a mix-up. Ronan O'Reilly, you're free to go. Blessed Mary, Mother of God, another miracle delivered. What the hell did you expect me to do when I see my son's picture in the newspaper saying that he's... A hired assassin charged with double homicide. Thank you, Dad. Really appreciate you, you know, coming and trying to help us. Oh, cut it out. 
you could have helped out a little bit if you hadn't been so damn stubborn. And what's this making a broken down old atheist like me try to prove there's a God? Now that's just sick. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It, it, it presented itself. You were great, really. You were, you were fantastic. Really? Yep. <laughs> well, I'm just lucky that dear old Father O'Malley has marked up his Bible this way before I relieved him of it. Okay. Interpol. How did they get involved in this? Uh, one of their agents approached me, his name was Bates, about impersonating an Irish assassin for hire. Ronan O'Reilly? Yeah. Yeah. Had less than 24 hours to go undercover. What are you supposed to do? Well, they were after this uh, upper echelon guy called the Balkan. O'Reilly worked for him. Well, working for Interpol sounds like fun, if you don't mind a bit of death and destruction. What happened, cowboy? When I left town, you were happy to be a cop in Port Charles. You drinking again? It's just part of the cover. Look, Port Charles has been closing in on me for a while now. You know that. Yeah, I understand. But how does that translate into going undercover for Interpol? They can be pretty persuasive. Did they threaten to come after me? No. Nothing like that, Dad. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. You can't lie anymore. You're rusty. And I know about this guy, the Balkan. I've heard of him. He's an ugly package. Yeah, I'm clear on that. Let me help you. Look, Dad, sit down. There's a lot of intelligence floating around the circles I'm traversing in right now, okay? I don't think that would be a very good idea for you. And it's simple. All I have to do is make contact and let Interpol take it from there. That's it. Well, it's not going to be that simple. I know. It never is. That's something you taught me. Look, I... For the first time since I can remember, I'm following my instincts. And, and I know it's last minute, I know I've been a little sloppy and a lot could go wrong, but I mean, I feel, I feel better than I have in years. Interpol, undercover. I mean, you're not working for your grandma here, son. You are completely expendable to them. If they can trade you for the Balkan, they're gonna do it. How'd those two guys end up dead in the alley? They came after me with self-defense, and it helped establish my cover. You are so rusty. You've been respectable too long. This is really dangerous. Please! Okay. Ah, evening, O'Reilly. You've already been through this. I'm not your mom. Call your superiors. It's him we're after, not you. You're after me? For what? Theft? Breaking and entering? God forbid, impersonating a priest? 